things about myself and the world that I will and won't explain to my nearly four-year-old daughter when she's older. First, drugs. I'll definitely discuss drugs, but I probably won't mention the time I snorted heroin in a dingy MacArthur Park hotel room. Or the times I tripped on mushrooms, mescaline, ecstasy, LSD, laughing my ass off, witnessing the walls and people's faces melting, time traveling, telepathically communicating with animals, insects, trees. What I will explain to my daughter is how drugs can be both dangerous and alluring. How one can get so easily hooked on the rush, the giddiness, the floating away. How there are days when all of us, all we want to do is float away. I'll teach my daughter how things like art, music, poetry, dance can offer a much purer sense of floating away. I'll teach my daughter how poetry has so greatly informed my life. That said, I probably won't mention the time I was scheduled to do a featured reading yet wound up in the hospital that day. Won't reveal how when I realized I would be in the hospital much longer than I had expected, yanked the IV from my arm when the nurse wasn't around, scrambled into my clothes, seized a cotton ball to clot the unnerving pulse of my blood, sprained the walls, snuck out of the hospital, hailed a taxi, sped off to my feature, and rocked it. I'll teach my daughter the importance of empathy, compassion, consideration. That said, I probably won't mention the time I was blind drunk at my brother's wedding, skied naked, received a summons from the Wisconsin Water Police, even after I had slurringly tried convincing them that if they didn't ticket me, I would take them back to LA, make them big TV stars, a river version of chips. I'll figure out how to explain to my daughter the utter remorse and humiliation I experienced as a teenager upon being nabbed by store security in a Kmart parking lot after I had shoplifted the soundtrack to Saturday Night Fever. I didn't even want the damn cassette. All I'd wanted was for my parents to stop fighting and not get divorced. I'll do my best to prepare my daughter for ages 13 through 19. How those years will be one great big crash and burn of proms, relationships, acne, breakup, and all the rest. I may even find the appropriate moment to reveal a cautionary tale or two. How my dumbass teenage buddies and I would drive drunk, spin donuts on people's lawns, jam potatoes and car tailpipes, steal road signs, all because we had no idea how to express our reckless, random, hormone-fueled emotions any other way. Then I will play for my daughter, the Who's, Bob O'Reilly. We will dance through the house, celebrating and commiserating in the joys and sorrows of those coming years, loudly singing as the Who wails. Teenage Wasteland. It's only Teenage Wasteland. I'll teach my daughter honesty, justice, determination. I will support her in maintaining a positive body image. I will confess how in high school, I used an ice cube and Zippo heated dirty sewing needle to pierce my ear. How it became an infected, swollen mess. Suffered through shots and antibiotics for well over a week, all for the sake of wanting to fit in because my dumbass buddies kept telling me I would look much cooler if my ear were pierced. I'll point out to my daughter how certain mistakes can never be completely undone, but in the best possible circumstances, their DNA can be altered to embody subtle forms of forgiveness and grace. How our every breath and heartbeat have the potential to compose verses on air, sonnets of love when it's freshly baked, glorious stories of coyote-blooded magic singing as Romaine wild tooth and full moon footed into the dense forests of the absolutely alive, I will warn my daughter that this is a world where people can hurt 
and heal. That there exists the goodness of strangers and the absolute cruelty of those we've considered friends in the face of it all. I will teach my daughter to wear her name proudly. Let it be a cradled murmur in the ear, bubble and luck, an Attila the Hunt of fun again on a jail free card, and her own star on Hollywood Boulevard. May the mere mention of my daughter's name be a cathedral of sweet talk, hummingbird flutter, and on her most troubled days, may my daughter's name be the tears that travel in reverse to unstain her cheeks and brighten and brighten and brighten her sad, sad eyes.